Caddis. Mm -hmm. It does represent the Caddis pupa. Um, it's, it's a great and very simple style to tie. Now the hook I'm using, this is a, just a size 12 barbless scrub hook and uh, normally I'd tie these 14s, 12s, 10s so this is the middle of the road size for this style of fly anyway. Thread I'm going to be using, this is if I turn it upside down, there we go. This is the uni, uni thread light K hole and 8 and it's the yellow yarn, this is a white yarn that I'd bought and dyed and then put on I put it on an old spool so that I could use it and obviously onto a bobbin holder. Now first thing I'm going to do is lead the body and I'm going to use the lead, this is just a lead sheet or foil and I cut slip off the side from then from a millimetres just up to two mil thick. So I'm going to get a tapered, or it makes it easier to actually get a taper. Now I'm going to start just at the back here, this point, and then put down the layer all the way to the, basically I'm in line with the point of the hook. Break that off and that point. You can rub it at the back of your nail to flatten it. And then, about a turn and a half up, we start again. And I'm going to wind up till again I'm in line with the point of the hook. And I'm going to do it again, just slightly again, a turn or so up from the second layer. And all the way up. And that gives you your, your taper and stop it again at that point there. As I say, just rub it with the back of your nail just to flatten it. And that'll help you form the taper. Now, the, the body style will start a bit down here, a couple of millimetres below the lead. And uh, you could use a tungsten or a, a gold bead or something at the head if you want as well. But you'd have to obviously have to put that on. So it's up to yourself how heavy or what way you want. And this is a kind of, I would say, probably a medium weight it set a nymph. And thread is I'm going to start with the cable, obviously, tying the thread hole thread and I'm going to quickly just take it down using the waist piece as a guide and come back up. As I'm just zigzagging the, the thread on so it doesn't move. And I'm bringing the thread all the way back up to the eye. Now for the eyes, this is a kind of an option. This is it's a 12 pound nylon. This is it's called Sea Strike. And you get about a mile, I don't know exactly a mile, but just about. And this was just cost me five pounds in the shop. And you see, it's a fluorescent, it's a kind of fluorescent yellow. And this is what we use for the eye. Just take a length off. And get yourself a pair of tweezers, pointed tweezers. If they're not pointed, then you can obviously, um, like I did, so just file them down to a fine point like that. And then hold them hold the about a you're looking for about three millimeters either side of the tweezers. Now the what I do here is depending on how wide the eyes I want them to be apart. I mean if I want them quite wide apart I can further down and melt. In this case I just because it's a, such a small fly then I bring it nearer the point. Hold it tight and then burn it right up against your tweezers on both sides and then allow it to dry. There we are. Now I usually keep it on the tweezers and then catch it with the thread a couple of turns. It's much easier to do that and then position it where you want. Then trying to take it off the tweezers and because they're so small. Now they're a bit uneven just now, so what I'm gonna do here is just move them so they're centre. Or centre the eyes up anyway. And then once I'm happy, do a figure eight two or three times. And there we are. And that's your eyes, your small eyes. And then we can carry on down. 
and tying our, our body materials and we're back for the, the body itself. Now, as I say, this is a, a darling yarn. Now, it was white and I've dyed it yellow. It's a nice pale yellow. Uh, you can buy it yellow. Uh, sometimes the colours are not just right and it does pay if you can dye it. But most of the browns and the greys that we use in caddis patterns and olives. Well, some of the olives we've got to dye. Um, but basically, the browns, the greys, and stuff are usually quite good. You don't really need to do them. Now for the back, I'm going to use, this is the stuff here, it's called Scud Back, the width is 1 8 brown, and uh, it's ideal for the back of these nymphs and pupa. The first thing you do is, what I usually do is cut into a point, just like that. It makes it much easier to, to catch the point, point in, and then Quite wide turns at this point, take take it down, just try and get it as neat as you can, you can stretch it out. You want it onto the bare hook, so that's because you need that as your taper. And then tidy up, come back up. Just making a nice shape and making sure everything's well tied in. And then I'm going to remove the thread. I'm going to put it back on once I've formed the body. So just do a wee whip finish and then take away a thread. And then we're left with our yarn. The yarn's going to tie in and form the back and obviously the body. First turn I usually do is underneath, skid back. Then I do a turn in front and then basically catch this in, stretch it so you got helps to get the taper. You do a turn now. I'm going to check this this point just to see what it looks like. I like the, a nice start to it. If, it's, if I'm not happy, which I'm not, I'm going to go back. It's much easier to go back. I just want this a wee bit tighter down the bottom. Let me see. Let's get it to start where you want. And then once you're happy, come round. Tie over the top. Do we see? Here's a look. And then, if you're happy, then you start to come up. Do another single turn in front. Do another turn over the top of your skid back. And then, obviously, you're spacing out as you go up. And then do another, in this case, two turns. And then do another turn. And another two turns. Make sure you get it nice and neat. As neat as you want, it's up to yourself. Now I'm not pulling it as tight so that I'm getting that taper. Just a wee check to see how things look. And then a couple of turns. And then another turn. That should that should do it. A couple of turns there. Now, at this point, if you're not happy, you can always go back. So, I'm just going to have a wee quick look to see how good if it's sitting level. Taper's nice. I like the taper. I like to make sure I get a nice taper in the body. Now, that looks okay. Looks fine to me. And then, just basically put, tie in your thread again. Tie it over the top of the yarn. Trim away the waist piece of the thread and your yarn as well. Just take it up to your scud, up to the scud back, up to this point there. Now this, this is where you've stopped in line with the point of the hook. So your thread, everything else is in that point. And then for the legs, this is just a partridge feather. Now you get two or three flies out of this feather. So and all I do is cut, if you'll see there, I've cut the stem, remove, and you've got a right and a left side. As I say, you'll get another fly out of that, especially that size of feather. And then, you're always hoping these are the same length, the level. And these are not too bad. And all I do is put the V, so there's fibers down either side with the top of the hackle, the front of the hackle and the top. And you want the fibers towards the end of the, the hook. And all I do is just come in, hold them with my fingers, 
Come round with a couple of turns, just loose turns. It's a wee quick look, see how they're sitting. If you want, like this side here, I want it just slightly further down, so I'm just going to use my thumb to push them down the side. Same on this side, do the same. And once you're happy, then you can tighten up. Come in and remove the waste, and then just tidy up the fibres. These cut ends, I missed a couple, but I can always tidy up. There we are. Now for the thorax, I've got some dyed brown seals for. This is adult seals for it's slightly coarse, coarser. Use what you've got, you could use SLF, I mean these all work. And uh, it's entirely up to yourself. Now I've dubbed this on. And then I start, because I've got a tapered thorax area, it's going to be quite easy to form a tapered, well, tapered part of the body anyway. Or the nymph. It's stuck to me a bit there, so what I'm going to do is just come back, stretching out the seals to keep making sure I get that shape that I want. Right up against the eye, and even a turn or so at the eye with the dubbing. That should do it. Make sure anything that's going forward is drawn back with and pulled back with the thread. A quick look, it's fine. Now I'm going to change the colour of the thread to brown. I'm just going to use a permanent marker pen, the brown one obviously. Just put the tip of the pen on and run it down the thread. It's the quickest and easiest way to change it to the colour it suits. And then what I do here is bring over the scud back, come round, couple of turns, maybe three just to see how things are sitting. There we are. And then I'm going to put on the horns. Now the horns are bronze mallard. This is just bronze mallard here. I want a couple of fibres. Just bring them out so that the tips line up. Once the tips are lined up, tear it away. Length, you're looking really about, see if you look at the length of the hook, full width of the hook, so you're looking that and a half, I would say it'd be fine. Just come over again with a couple of loose turns, right, just to get them in position. Looks okay. Tighten up and do a turn top side, this side of the, the eyes. Bring over the scud back plus the waist ends. This will tuck them back. Just pull them so they're in between the eye. Tighten up. And you see how it's how it's looking now. And then super glue in this case. You can use varnish if you want. So I'm going to put super glue down the thread. Come in with three or so turns. And then come in with wet finish. It's, you'll find that that's very tight. Never, should never pull out. Trim away the scud back. Just come in. Doesn't have to be perfect up tight against it. You can leave a wee bit. Get your waist bronze mallard. And just watch. Don't cut the your horns. Trim them away. And there we are. And then. To get some more legs out of it, get some velcro, bring out some of the seals for.